G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. My name is Sean and on today's episode we're going to work on our right on mower and we'll try and work out where did all the oil come from. came down to fire it up and do some mowing and there's this oil slick coming out of it. So first thing I'm going to do is just grab some rags and try and clean it up and while I'm cleaning it up I'll have a bit of a look and try and work out where it might have come from as well. Yeah. I started uh, cleaning up all this oil and while I was cleaning, I was just looking to try and see if I could see where it's come from. And I noticed out of our quick drain plug here, which is one of these half turn or quarter turn ones, that there's a line down here. There's still dirt around it, but there's a clean line down the center, which makes me think that it might be that that's leaking. So I'll lift the front cover off and have a better look, but that's a bit of a worry. Um, at least if I know that it's definitely that, we'll, we can pull that out and have a good look at what's going on, see how they work. It's not oily up here, but it's certainly oily around here. So I'm not sure how this operates in regards to what, how it seals. Um, but previously we have replaced the, the seal in here. So I might just grab a rag and check, but that seems dry. It's everything else down here that doesn't. So, um, with so much oil around, it's a bit difficult to be 100% sure what's going on. We'll have a better look. I really think it's coming out of the end here. What I might do is grab an oil pan and drain whatever oil is left in it. Looking at how much is on the floor, I don't think there can be too much, but we'll drain that oil and then look at pulling this off and see if we can work out how that works and if there's any, what sort of seals are in there. So there obviously is something. And maybe there's a seal that's, let go. It seems to have just about stopped dripping now. So it looks like there's this, just this big, say nut, a better term. Basically we should be able to just put a spanner on that and undo it. So I've got myself a nice big shifter. So then I'm going to spin that size. Not tight. that tight anyway. Anyway. Alright so we've brought it in the workshop so at least I've got it on my bench I can see a bit better. And it looks like, so we operate it, that's it closed. And so there's this metal tab that comes down and slides down here. And there's one on either side. And it looks like the slot sort of goes all the way through. There's a bit of a catch, but otherwise we should be able to just pull this apart by the look of it. So I'm going to give it a go. There we go, yeah, as I thought, an O-ring. And probably because I've had the cap off it and dirt and gunk has got in here. Yeah, all right, so we might um, clean all of this out, clean all this, try and find myself another O-ring. See what I've got. All right, so we've cleaned this up and we just need to remove this O-ring and I'll find, get yourself a little pick thing like this. Normally you can just tuck it in there. Normally. Take it out. 
and now I just go with my couple of sets of O-rings I've got and find one that is the same as that. We'll replace him and put him back together. So we've got another O-ring on here. And it's pretty difficult to hold the camera and get this to work, but it does slide in here. Seal back up, so hopefully that will work. I was also looking inside of this and there's a bit of a seal there, but it's not an O-ring obviously, uh, but that's what butts up to this. From everything I could tell it was okay, so I think we'll go and put it back on the mower and see how we go. Right, so we'll screw this in. Some rubbish around there. Ben, I think we'll um, push him back and try and clean up this oil Look at that. That's what we've got to try and clean up the best of our ability. Yeah, what a mess. By no means perfect, but all the loose oil is now cleaned up. So I think what I'm going to do, bring the mole back in, and overnight tonight I think we'll put a tray under it, and that way if it does leak oil we're going to capture that, and then work out where it's coming from, but hopefully that's it. Hey guys, so we're back at the ride on mower. After keeping an eye on it for a few days and finding that oil kept dripping, what I did was had a look online at the John Deere website, because a Sabre is the early model John Deere, and they had all the information there. And what I was gonna do is just replace this, you know, little drain point uh, with a sump plug. When I looked online through the John Deere website, this is actually a factory component which I was really amazed about. So I went to my local John Deere dealer uh, with the part number that I'd found on it. They looked it up and said, yep, we can get one. So I think it was about $26 it cost. So today we'll just drain this oil out, swap it over, put the new one in, and hopefully that will stop all the leaks. Basically got all the oil drained off now. It's just the odd little drip that's coming out. So what I'm gonna do, we'll just undo this and we'll put the new one on. So 
So this is the new one I bought. Yellow plasticky stuff around it, which is interesting. Uh, but should be the same principle. Hopefully the thread lines up. Let's pull this off and see how we go. Exactly the same as the one we pulled off. See what's beside it. But similar enough, so I wonder if it's been changed in the past. I don't know, but that doesn't worry me now. I think now it's time to fill it with oil. Got everything back together and it's full of oil. I'm gonna do some mowing this afternoon and clean up the yard and then we'll give it a day or two and I'll keep an eye on it and make sure there's no more oil leaking. So we'll check back in a couple of days and hopefully that's it. Hey guys, well it's been a couple of days since we fixed up the ride on, so let's see if there's any oil here. here I think we might have fixed it so I think what I'll do is clean up underneath of it and just keep a close eye on it but I think we have fixed it which is really good so there we go guys it looks like we fixed it finally it took a couple of efforts but that's okay we got there well, that's all we have in this episode Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It'd be awesome. And we'll catch you next time. God bless.